Hello friends, welcome to Notebook Videos. You will enjoy watching this video if you love to eat good food with family and friends. Have you ever noticed how your mom cooks good food? Have you ever been to the kitchen? Do you help her? Well, you must have. Tell me, what do you like about cooking? Is it the taste of spices, smell or the fun of cooking together? In my case, it's all. I love to cook and eat all the good food I make along with everyone else. In this video, we will see how people get together to cook food together in temples, mosques and gurudwaras. Have you ever had prasad that's cooked from your place of worship? You sure have. Here, we will see how prasad is cooked in gurudwaras. Gurudwaras are places of worship of Sikhs. My friends, this is a Gurudwara. Gurudwara means door to the Guru. And people from all faiths are welcome to visit Gurudwaras. One of the many practices at Gurudwaras is to feed all visitors. And there could be hundreds of people visiting a Gurudwara on one single day and everyone is fed irrespective caste, creed or religion. It is a very popular practice and is enjoyed by all. You may be surprised to know that it is completely free and is called Langar. So we will be discussing one such day in a Gurudwara when Langar was being prepared by Sikhs. Divya and Swastika were two friends who had decided to help in the cooking of the Langar. So they decided to visit a Gurudwara. What they saw surprised them a lot. Food was being cooked in huge vessels and they enjoyed the smell of the chana and urad dal being made. Here we see the langar wali dal. Divya and Swastika realized that this was part of India's heritage. Huge number of chapatis were also being made along with rice and halwa. The halwa is kind of special at Gurudwaras. It's called the Kadha Prasad and is made by roasting flour in ghee in big kadhais. It's a huge custom to distribute Kadha Prasad among everyone at Gurudwaras. People love to eat it and enjoy the smell of it. So now we know what's cooked at the Gurudwaras. The Kadha Prasad that's distributed. How huge vessels are used to prepare the popular langar that is given to people free of cost. After having a great meal at the Gurudwara, Divya and Swastika returned home. My friends, can you name a few more occasions when similar cooking takes place and people enjoy preparing and eating together? Well, we have lots of festivals in our own communities when group cooking takes place and our mothers and aunts taking part to cook the food for a great feast. Why don't you think of some? Now, let's move on to meals that some of us may have also been a part of and those are meals at boarding schools. Boarding schools are fun, my friends. You study, play, eat, sleep and enjoy with friends all the time. Wow, this looks like a fun boarding school. Meals are an everyday part of life at boarding schools. Group eating is fun and a variety of food is served at the canteen of the school. Children are also expected to keep themselves clean and be responsible. Boarding schools have different menu items on different days so that children do not get bored. They have special menus on Sundays. Regular day schools do not serve food unless during special occasions. Boarding schools take care of children throughout the day and help them grow good sleeping, eating and other behavioural habits that help them lead a wholesome life. So friends, with this we come to the end of this video. We thank you for your continued attention and hope to see you in other videos. Goodbye.